Namaskar, namaste, satnam, ahomatakura, sinosiam, maichikasiam, to all our relations, blessed be. Uh, so today just is kind of funny. I had, uh, I was just sitting here after my morning doing the 40 day challenge, and then I've been watching this documentary, not really documentary, but series about Aretha Franklin as I'm really working on connecting to uh, the Black History Month here in North America. And my own African roots are really calling me to deepen my connection to my African roots and my understanding of the elements of the African spirits that work with me and the ancestors that I've communicated with throughout my life. A lot of the doorways to connection actually came through the indigenous spirituality of Turtle Island here, working with the elements of the animal spirits and uh, the indigenous teachings that we have available to us here. Because as a kid, I was. Uh, lucky enough to be uh, connected deeply to family friends who were indigenous of uh, Turtle Island, Stalo and Chiacton and Chehalis and, and uh, Sasquatch Nation peoples mixed um, traditions as well. But my mom was uh, best friends with an indigenous woman who was my auntie. And we were often taken to powwow and different other um, sort of like ceremonial gatherings and also just basically family type gatherings that where we were lucky enough to be invited as family. And uh, a lot of the teachings have just come in over time and shown me the elements all around me in order to act as a doorway for me to connect more deeply to my African spirituality. So that's been part of my work right now in my life over the last couple of years, but it's really calling more this year in particular. But that's kind of a side note to my why I want to bring a certain form of meditation today, which will be about connecting to the ley lines of the earth and to bring an energy, an intention of an energy for balance and harmony with the earth and the earth elements. Now, the reason is because as I was sitting here, we're, I'm in, in Vancouver in, in BC on the Pacific Northwest. And we do have many different environments. We're connected to the ocean, we're connected to the forest, we're connected to the mountains. But where I am right now is actually quite in the city or in a more suburban area of the city. It's house to house to house and fairly busy streets, pretty constant people driving up and down. But we're in a traffic calm neighborhood where there's a community center and a school. And the really interesting thing this morning was that a coyote was running up the road and it's already like after 1030 by now. So very, very rarely do you see a coyote in this time of day because they're a nocturnal creature. And uh, there's also I noticed that the crows were not happy with that, which crows are very clear signs of like if there's harmony or imbalance in your area or neighborhood, crows get kind of wacky. And they're also very defensive of their nesting grounds so they saw the coyote running up the street and three or four of them started swooping at the coyote like hey man what are you doing here you better get out of here this is not your time of day this is not your place so i thought that was very kind of interesting because we've also noticed a couple other things my sister and roommate noticed uh, a few weeks ago that that there was some kind of droppings left in our yard that looked mostly like deer droppings, which also deer would not normally come around here because they do live in areas about 30 to 40 blocks away from here. But to travel that far in the night and be gone by the day would mean they've crossed areas where they're not normally. And then to see the coyote now, three weeks later, I'm kind of guessing that some development within the 40 blocks or so where the forest actually starts has probably thrown off the balance of some area where these animals are normally able to den and uh, hide harmoniously. And so there's a bit of an imbalance floating through my zone right now, which I know is not just, uh, just relative to here in BC, because development is happening everywhere in the world and there's millions of humans moving all over the place, especially right now with so many different tumultuous situations going on environmentally, as well as um, politically in many different places in the world where there's a lot of different refugee movements and immigration movements going on, both from south to north and from east to west and beyond. There's uh, so much going on where people are being displaced and it's 
clearly reflecting that also the animals are being displaced. So my intention to meditate for the next five minutes is to just feel an energy of connection to the earth and project an intention for balance and harmony with the elements and the animals. So we can take a comfortable seat and start by just taking a deep breath in and a big ha ah, breath out. Inhale light in through your nose and exhale all heaviness, all darkness, all uh, imbalanced energy ah, out through the mouth. And we'll do one more like that, inhaling, cleansing, healing light in through the nose and clearing all energies no longer serving. Ah, feeling the prana, the energy of the universe starting to pour down through the top of your head. And envisioning yourself or feeling or sensing yourself growing a little heavier as you grow your roots down into the earth, allowing your roots to burrow down beneath you through whatever structure you're sitting upon, whether it's your a piece of furniture, or whether it's your floor, see these roots growing right down through the floor, right down through all the framing of the structure of the space you are in and down deep past that into the rock and soil below in the foundation, wherever that is, whether you're in a high building or a building close to the ground, see these roots crawling down all along all the structures until they burrow their way into the earth. And these roots are gonna burrow into the earth and they continue moving through to connect into the mycelial network, the mycelium which connects all things and decomposes all death and brings all things into new life by transferring molecules and electrical energy from one place to another. So when you intend this, taking a deep breath in and allowing your breath to be deep, powerful, filling your belly with each inhale, letting the breath move out through the arms and fingertips and down through the legs and seat and root chakra, muladhara, connecting into Mother Earth and just consider maybe you've noticed some imbalance in your environment or maybe you know somewhere that feels very balanced in your environment. Bring this to mind now, whichever side of the contrast comes to you, whether you want to look at an imbalance or look at balance. Bring that to mind now and see that environment. Ask yourself, what does it need? And send a little bit of love to that space. Maybe the animals need more safety. Maybe the water needs more clarity. Maybe the development needs to slow down. Maybe the people around need to be more aware of their effect on the earth and on the nature, on the air, the fire and the water. We all have these elements present within us. And when they change in our environments, taking a deep breath in, bringing the air in, and letting it wash through the waters of your body. Gathering more fire with each breath, burning away all that is no longer serving and allowing this energy of the light to pour down through you, moving its way into the earth. When we've set these intentions to connect to the elements of the earth, it is immediate because we are made up of the very same and we are one and the same with the earth and all the animals, the plants, the creatures of creation. We are all children of this universe. Take a deep breath in and a big sigh. With your next inhale, bring your hands over your heart. And we're going to work with an affirmation for one minute. I am one with mother earth. I am one with Mother Earth. And you can repeat along with me. I am one with Mother Earth. I am one with Mother Earth. 
I am one with Mother Earth. I am one with Mother Earth. I am one with Mother Earth. I am one with Mother Earth. I am one with Mother Earth. I am one with Mother Earth. I am one with Mother Earth. I am one with Mother Earth. I am one with Mother Earth. I am one with Mother Earth. I am one with Mother Earth. I am one with Mother Earth. I am one with Mother Earth. I am one with Mother Earth. And take a deep breath in and a big sigh. And let the earth flow up through the base of your body, up through your spine and out the top of your head. As the light of the sun of Father Sky pours down through the crown, down through the legs and arms. I'm taking another deep breath in. And as you release, let your hands fall down in front of you onto whatever the surface is, placing your fingertips just in front of your shins and imagining all of that love you feel in your heart pouring back down into the earth like water into a, the roots of a tree. Sending your love and your gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this life. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this life. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this life. Homatakuyasim Pilamaya, Mother Earth, Sunchi Maka, Grandmother Earth. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aho, Osiam, Hachikasiam, hi, hi. Namaste, Satnam, Loka, Samasta, Sukino, Bhavantu. May all beings be infinitely happy and free. Thank you for joining me for this little meditation. May the harmony of the earth and sky surround you in all of your actions. <laughs>